There's always been a saying that's gone around, and I'm fond of repeating it. And a, and a good friend of mine, who wound up being a good friend of mine, George Young, he passed away a couple of years ago. Yeah. Um, he was always fond of having everybody understand that the cocaine business is done with a gun, and the marijuana business is done with a handshake. Yeah. yeah. So when it came, when it came to, and 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 you know, when it comes to that, you know, like I said, I grew up in this industry as a kid. You know, our fathers and uncles and all these people are, you know, we're letting the kids do this fucking shit. And they would not expose us to an element that would have been that would have put us in any way at risk. Yeah. And that says a lot about the way the industry could have been run and the way it was run in the days when it was done by families. And, and in the countries in which it was taken from, it was also family and generational by that means as well. Because yeah. when I finally took over and what wound up happening was that night we did 55 tons. We had about seven houses on the island at that time. There was, I mean, this is how we work. We bring the load in, like I said, on our boat, our big boat, the motherships. We get loaded. We truck that into shore right into the where the 10,000 islands begin because now everything shallows out really, shit, really bad. Right. There's no way that boat's drafting seven, eight feet. Yeah, there's I was no going to say, how'd you get past the wake and all that? There's no fucking way it's going in that path. So we sit out there. The minute we get out there, we kill our engines. And out comes, you know, from the mangroves comes 20 or 25 smaller boats. Yeah. Um, tea crafts or well boats, they were called, that can yeah. go. They're shallow drafting vessels. Most of them have twin 235 Evan roots on them. And they have a vertical and a horizontal trim, meaning the, the, the prop will go up and down like this, or it'll go out and, and not like a normal trim does like yeah. this. And as long as that prop will go through the water, that boat's going through the water. So they would come out, two guys on each boat, like flies on a garbage can, and they would come around our boat. Their guy would jump on and start throwing and loading 30, 40 pieces onto each boat. And they would take them, make them, run them through the pass and put it in one, two or three of my buddy's houses that we've literally taken all the furniture out of and stacked the houses from the back to the front living room bedroom dining room kitchen bathroom i mean everything you, every place you could stick a bale of pot pull the door closed on the way out when it's full and move next door and start filling jimmy's house <laughs> so, so hold on so so from the supply chain right goes to columbia goes on the mothership goes to timmy's boat you, you just throw it amongst the 20 boats you store it in these houses right you know right. trucks to pick this up you're in an island area you're in a resort area there's pretty much one big road coming in how did it, who picked it up and how did you get it off the island successfully? Cause that, that was that, that part I'm wondering about. Okay. Well, no, that's a valid question. And, uh, you know, you're right. <clears throat> you're right. Fully so by asking if you'll forgive me, I've got to keep mucking with my thing here. It keeps coming loose from my window. I'm fascinated by the way. Um, <laughs> well, that's a great question too, because they're, you know, the, the, what the, the offshore crew is what are, is where I worked offshore. Okay. And all the boats that brought it from us through the aisles and put it into the house were the offshore crew. Once it gets put into the houses, and they're bail handlers. These guys are walking they're walking from the dock. They're going to the house. There's a guy that owns the house. I mean, there's people working. It takes, you know, 50, 60 people to make one. Well, it's an organization. It's an organization, yeah. This is not a you know small operation we're talking about here. You you're know, only on, you're only on onshore here, here in, in Florida. You're unloading the, the boats. Yeah, in Everglades, in Everglades, or somewhere, somewhere in Southwest Florida, because at one point I had five crews working, 50, 60 people on each crew. You know, and we're working, you know, I had boats lined up out here offshore like it was a fucking parking lot, man. You know, because I'm, now I'm flying to Columbia and I'm buying 100, 200,000 pounds at a time and I'm sending boats to go get the shit, you know, but we're skipping forward and all. But um, it, in the process by which it all works is that, um, you know, once it gets to the house, now as we're loading the houses that night, coming in off of all boat, our big boats, we're loading a house. A lot of the guys would bring their cars, trucks, vans, or whatever, into the where the boat where the house is being loaded, load that car and truck or van or whatever it is. They would drive it back into town and pull it in the driveway and just park it in, in the front of the house and leave it parked. Mm -hmm. So the next day, when actually the work begins, now everybody that's working, all 50, 60, 70, 80 people, whoever many, however many we've got, or however big, depending on how much shit's coming yeah. and be, how many you know people need to be worked, everybody has um, what we were using at that time, two-meter radios, 
which had a five digit combination on the top that you could dial in five numbers and virtually unscannable at that time, but everybody could talk freely and openly and communication was very well, important. Code and switch to one yeah. There's no code shit, you know, this we've talked wide open on these things because there's nobody going to be able to scan it. That was the beautiful thing about the two meter radio. Yeah. And everybody in a car who was driving had one. Everybody, you know, in the offshore now, when we're have these boats are loaded that, you know, like we're loaded and we're coming in. I mean, these things are got, you know, we've got 20 tons on this fucking boat and it ain't very moving very quickly. 